Hi everyone, welcome to a special Valentine's Day edition of Nighttime with Nina. We actually have a special guest reader tonight. It is the author of a book called Love Violet, and it's a person who's actually a friend of Plymouth. Uh, there is a character in it who is African American, but I also really wanted to share with you this story, even though it is not written by a Black author and the main character is not a Black character. But it's a really important story for Valentine's Day and it's a really important story about another community that can be marginalized, which is the LGBTQ community. So the author, Charlotte Sullivan Wilde, is actually going to be doing the live reading of, or she sent me a recording of her reading the book, but she also sent along a special letter that she wanted me to share with all of you. So I will start by doing that. Hi, Nina and Plymouth friends. I'm so happy to be joining you for Nighttime with Nina. I'm writing to you from all the way across the ocean in Italy. I live here with my wife, Tara, and our four chickens, the Eggiatrixes. They say, book, book, to you. But our home is Minneapolis and Plymouth Church. Fourteen years ago this Valentine's Day, my wife Tara and I first told each other that we liked each other. We were so happy. But there were some churches and jobs where we were not allowed to love each other because they didn't accept LGBTQ plus people. I had to leave my teaching job at a college, and Tara was training to be a chaplain, a pastor for people in the military. She definitely couldn't be open about who she is. We could only tell our families and very close friends that we were dating. Do you know how hard it is to hide how happy you are when you first are in love? It's very hard. But one place we always knew we were safe was at Plymouth Church. We loved being at church. We could relax and be ourselves and just sing, listen, and pray. A few years later, Tara got to be a pastor at Plymouth for a year. So it's extra special to be with you today. Plymouth feels like home to us. I'm glad things are getting better for LGBTQ plus people in some ways. Tara and I don't have to hide anymore, but not everyone is safe and accepted at school or in the world. One of the best ways that we can show love is to make every place we are a safe and welcoming place. Maybe you already do that. I hope so. The world needs more love. Now, are you ready for a story? I'm excited to share with you a book I wrote called Love Violet. It's about what a first crush sometimes feels like. It's also about finding the courage to share how we feel, even when our heart is pounding. Do you ever get nervous to say how you feel? I do, but it's worth it. Whether or not you have crushes yet, love is for all of us. I hope you'll share your feelings with those you love today. Maybe with your family or your friend or your pet. Tara and I certainly love our chickens. Every day is a good day for love, but especially today. Happy Valentine's Day. Love, Charlotte. P.S. You can find coloring sheets, videos, and even pictures of stories I wrote when I was a kid all on my website, www.charlottesswild.com. So it looks like charlottesswild.com. I'll make sure I put it in the link too so you can see it and check it out. And now without further ado, here our special Nighttime with, no Nighttime with Nina featuring Charlotte Sullivan Wild reading Love Violet. 